This is the part of the show where we reach into the mailbag, we pull one out, we read it, we give advice, give our feedback. Let's go. You send an email and we read it on the air. It's something we call Bobby's Mailbag. Yeah. Hello, Bobby. I'm a longtime listener, and I remember you talking in the past about getting picked on in school. So I wanted your advice on my situation. I got an invitation to my 10-year high school reunion where I was bullied. I've done pretty well for myself since and have found a lot of success in my career. I want the satisfaction that I'm doing better than my bullies, but I don't want to demean myself on that level. Do you think I should go? Signed, TJ. Good question. Let's see. Yeah, I got the crap beat out of me all the time as a kid. Um, there's no greater revenge than being successful. I mean, that feels good, but really, this is how I look at it now. The kids are always beating me up. They were hurting. You don't treat people like crap unless you feel like crap. And so I look back at it now, and I'm like, you know what? The kid who dumped all the mustard and ketchup on my head in the cafeteria, like he must have really been going through some stuff to feel like he needed to do that. Yeah, hurt people, hurt people. So I start to feel like, again, as I get older, I'm like, man, yes, I probably still have a little trauma from being bullied. However, they probably have just as much trauma, which whatever it was caused them to act like that and act out in that way. So I would say don't let them keep you from going. If you want to go, go. Go and see all your old friends. You want to dress nice, wear a fancy watch. You want to do like Lunchbox did once and rent a car. Vet, Corvette. He drove a Corvette around. That's right. Do that. Just do what makes you feel good. Don't go or not go because of some bullies. Go or not go because you want to go to this. But if you are worried about the bullies, I mean, why are, why are people upset and angry? It's because... They're upset and angry at something going on with them. You never see a bully or a troll that lives a great balanced life. You know, there's none of these internet trolls actually are living, you know, quite the wholesome, fun family life. No, they're missing something. And they may have made a lot of progress in the last 10 years, too. And they've matured and they look back on like, oh, who knows? It might be an opportunity for some repair. Yeah, I doubt that. But still. <laughs> but maybe. Go. TJ, go to your reunion. I think you'll have fun and. They probably won't bully you anymore. I but ran I, into a bully 10 years ago that I hadn't seen since high school, and he was mean in high school, and he was totally cool. Also, we, pe- people grow up, too. That's yeah. what I'm saying. We yeah. were both grown up, and it was a good situation. You got picked on, too? God, yeah, you guys we are all a bunch did. of dorks. Oh. <laughs> it's hard for me to believe that you didn't get picked on. Hey, do you see that crown on top of my head that says Prom King? No. There's no picking on the Prom King. Guys, that's why you go to your reunion. He said he's successful. Now go and flex. Go show off. Show up in a nice car, and if you don't have a hottie... Rent a hottie. Wait, what? what? Oh, no, that's illegal. All right, that's the mailbag. <laughs> okay. We got your email and we read it on the air. Now it's time to close Bobby's mailbag. Yeah. If you want to email us, Morgan, what do they do? Mailbag at bobbybones.com. This is a Bobby Bones show. Hey.